Connie from The Paint Photographer. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to take this fern stand, follow along in this video, and we're gonna make this shop project that someone took the time to build, and we're gonna make it even prettier. When I got this fern stand, I picked it up at a thrift store, and it reminds me of my mom. My mom would go and pick stuff up at the junkyard, and then she'd try and fix it up. And this plant stand reminded me of her because it's something that I seen her have a fern on before, or other plants. She liked to have geraniums in the house. Anyway, I have a story to tell you that back in the day when I was younger, I was struck by lightning. The first thing I need to do is to fancy this fern stand up. Let's add some IOD molds with air dry clay in the He Loves Me. And you just put the air dry clay in there, use the micro rim to smooth it out, get that clay in there, make the back as smooth as you can using your fingers, and then turn it over and pop them out. We're gonna add a lot of these molds. Keep watching. When I got struck by lightning, my mom and dad owned a bar and uh, they had a Friday night fish fry and it started to storm. It was one of those storms where the wind was crazy and it was thundering and lightning and my mom hung clothes out on her clothesline. Connie, I need to go get the clothes off the clothesline. I said, go ahead, I got this. So she leaves and there was an order of fish in the fryer and there was only one hash brown. An order of fish gets two hash brown patties. So I walk over to the freezer. Now we're gonna put the mold on. The trim piece is all molded. We're gonna lay it down in there, right where we want it to go. Taking a putty knife, trim that edge off. Bring it back off. Put it on the back of your mold. Using my finger, I'm gonna make sure to spread it all the way around. Making sure I get all of my edges. You want that wood glue, and it is Tight Bond Original Wood Glue covering the entire back side and then flipping it over and putting it in place. If you'd like any of these products, please visit me at thepaintedphotographer.com. I'll ship them right to your door. So I get to the freezer and I open up the door to get the hash brown out. Lightning struck the freezer. The lightning goes in my hand, up my arm, across my chest, and the flames flew off of this hand. And it picked me up off the ground about this far. And then, I'm gonna add a lot of color to this fern stand, but first I need to add the base color, which is weathered wood. Just put it on, getting it inside all the crevices, and you can stipple like I'm pouncing my brush, and that actually adds a little bit of texture. lots of colors in this layering process. You can use whatever DIY colors that you want. And I started out with Salty Kiss. I wanted kind of a green look since it was a plant stand. You can follow along and I'll show you the colors that I used. My dad was standing there watching. 
he was in the doorway and he watched this all happen and picked me up off the ground about this far. It probably lasted for, I don't know, a minute. But when the lightning quit, threw me back and I hit a table. And I thought, am I alive? Heaven is a new color from DIY. Oh, I love this color. And uh, it's a copper patina and it is just adds so much depth to your projects and it makes it look really aged and tarnished, especially when you add those turquoisey colors in with it. My dad says, cool. And I stood there. I guess I'm okay. So I go to the freezer, I open it up, take out the hash brown, go and put the hash brown in the fryer. You added those colors, now take a baby wipe and distress them off. You'll soften them up and make them look like they are aged on there. My next step is to use the Shipwreck Wax. It's also a new product and goes really well with that copper. So this will make it look like you found it on the bottom of the ocean. Just put that wax, a thick coat, I do a really thick coat making sure I get it in all the crevices, and you put that wax on and then you slowly take it off. That's good, but we got work to do. So five hours later, my mom calls my husband. Hello, John. Yeah, Connie was struck by lightning. I think you probably need to take her to the emergency room. My husband says, what? Struck by lightning? Came and got me, took me to the emergency room. And they said, President. <laughs> I'm like, I served 125 people tonight. Every joint was burnt. And that I was extremely sore in this whole area. And that is it. That's all that happened. Being struck by lightning. That, and I served 125 people and made really happy customers. My mom taught me customer comes first. And so do you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. products that you see on this video today, please head on over to my website, thepaintedphotographer.com, and have them shipped right to your front door. Thanks for watching DIY A Go Go.